The swim record set at the Ivy League championship by the University of Pennsylvania's Leah Thomas, a transgender athlete who's seen split support even among her own teammates. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has more. Leah Thomas will capture the win in the 200-yard freestyle with a time of 143.12 seconds. This morning, controversy along with victory as transgender athlete Leah Thomas shatters women's college swimming records in the 200 and 500-yard freestyle on Friday in the Ivy League Women's Championships. So Leah Thomas, a new pool record, a new meet record. Thomas, who was assigned male at birth, competed on Penn's men's team for three seasons before undergoing more than two years of hormone therapy. Struggling to define its rules for trans athletes like Thomas, the NCAA reversed course on a policy this season requiring competitors to undergo a year of testosterone or estrogen suppression to be able to compete. Yale swimmer Isaac Hennig, a trans man who has delayed hormone treatment, competes on the women's team and has beaten Thomas in competition. In an interview with Nightline's Juju Chang, he defended Thomas. I think she's, you know, incredibly strong for, for doing what she, you know, continues to do, as she should. You know, she deserves to be here just as much as anyone. Skylar Baylar, the first openly transgender athlete on an NCAA Division I men's team, calls Thomas's success a step forward for trans representation. Watching a trans person thrive in sport is amazing because we are so discriminated against. And so for her to be able to get up there and win and break some records, awesome, right? Um, but it's also just awesome that she's able to be herself and compete. Critics argue athletes like Thomas have an unfair advantage. Leah Thomas has been through puberty. So that's 10 years of having testosterone making broader shoulders and bigger lungs and strength. Nancy Hogshead Makar is a women's rights attorney and former three-time Olympic gold swimmer. She coordinated a petition among Thomas's Penn teammates speaking out against her participation in the league championships. We have to make sure that whatever rules that we come up with that they benefit trans men as much as they benefit trans women. With her win last night, Leah Thomas became the first swimmer to win two individual events in this year's championships, and she's set to compete for her third Ivy League title tonight. She has declined our requests for an interview. Phil? All right, Elizabeth, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.